Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trethaway with the OpenStack Foundation, and today we're talking about docs as part of our Mitaka Design Series. So Lana, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I'm Lana. I'm the documentation PTO for Mataka. I also work for Rackspace. I'm leading a team of technical writers across both the United States and Australia. So tell us a little bit about the Docs project. Uh, I like to think that the Docs project is the, the linchpin for OpenStack. We provide documentation for, the, for most of the core OpenStack projects. And some of the stats we've gotten recently actually say that two thirds of OpenStack users are referring to our documentation at least weekly, if not daily. So that's really exciting for us. So tell us from the Tokyo Summit, which is now just about a week behind us, what were some of the hot topics for documentation? We had two main hot topics, I think. The first one, which is the big one for me, is about information architecture and data typing. We'd really like to move towards a more task-centric approach rather than a role-based approach in order to make our documentation uh, more usable, more understandable, and easier for everyone to navigate. Uh, the second thing we want to do is to make sure we're being good community citizens. Uh, we want to increase our support for teams who want to include information about their products in the official docs. And Big Tent has changed the way we look at projects, and we want to ensure we're supporting each product team in, in the best way possible, as well as supporting our, our users and our consumers of our documentation. So during Mitaka planning, what did you identify as the user needs or problems that you're trying to solve in this next cycle? So coming back to the information architecture and the data typing I spoke about, the, this came out of a user requirement for being able to more easily navigate the docs site. And we also wanted to make sure people could find relevant information quickly. We now have a few different things we'd like to do to improve this, and we'll start to see those changes rolling out really soon. Um, we're also building on feedback that the Waddle system is not working so well for API docs, and Angentil has been building an ID that was developed in Vancouver, which we're now ready to implement, and that will switch us to Swagger instead, so it will hopefully improve our API documentation quite a lot. Um, we also heard a lot of feedback on release notes, uh, which was a little bit surprising for me. It was, it was really great to hear that, that feedback. So we've been working with a few different people to understand that problem a little better, and we now have some really exciting ideas for improvements in Mataka. What would you say are the top three priorities for your team for enhancements of existing documentation? So first of all, we want to resolve this issue of navigating the docs. So we're implementing a few different things for that. The biggest, like I already spoke about, is data typing. And we want to move away from this role-based architecture towards a task-based one. This is actually a lot easier to do for some books than for others, of course. So we're going to start with an easy one. And we're going to start with the user guides to, to try and see how that works for us and the, the best way to do it. Uh, the other component of that is, is a little bit simpler and also a little bit more noticeable. And we're going to re reorganize the index page and try and add some more guidance on what each book is about. And we should hopefully see those changes coming in soon. The second priority is about uh, ongoing conversions to RST. This is something we've been working on for a while. Uh, a lot of our books have now been converted to RST, but we still have quite a few to go. And so we've spent a lot of time at the summit talking about which books are to be converted um, in each release and who's responsible for doing that. Uh, it does take quite a bit of planning. So we need to make sure we're not overworking people on. On, on doing that conversion. And finally, the third thing, it's, it's a fairly small thing, but we're hoping it will have a really big impact for us in terms of workflow, is about tweaking the way the Doc Impact tool works. At the moment, the, the Doc Impact tool creates a lot of noise in our bug queue. It makes it harder for us to actually find the real work that needs to be done. So we're changing the way the tool operates, and we hope to make it much more responsive and useful, both for the Docs team, but also for the developer community. So one of the ways that we unite all the different projects is by speaking in themes, uh, including scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, and interoperability. Tell us a little more about where the Docs team plays. This release for Docs is really about manageability. Um, it's about having Docs work more efficiently and effectively, both for end users, but also for our developer community. With OpenStack moving to the big tent, we need to reevaluate which projects we document, the best way to provide that documentation, how we go about communicating with other development teams, and we also need to ensure we're being good community citizens. I want to make sure we're working closely with our enterprise writing teams and valuing the contribution that our, our corporate contributors provide to the documentation. 
Uh, the other main thing that I wanted to mention is that because Liberty was my first release as Docs PTL, I'm still learning what makes a good release. And it was really great to hear feedback from the Docs team on what went well and what didn't go so well. So I can implement those changes and hopefully improve in Mataka. I'm extremely grateful to have a team that has supported me in my new role and who are willing to have me lead them again. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Of course, we always need Docs contributors. Um, if you're a technical writer, then we have plenty of projects that can use your writing expertise. If you're a developer, even if you don't think you're a good writer, we could definitely use your technical prowess to test and improve our documentation. Remember, the documentation is developed exactly like code. So if you're an ATC, you already have the skills required to contribute and to improve the docs for all our users. Well, thank you, Lana, for joining us today and happy birthday. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>